equals PD equals S, okay, PD equals PS, gives you that. If you solve yep. for Q, you get 8. Okay, once I've got 8, how do I get P? Okay. I plug can it, plug it into plug either it or Plug it back to anyone. Yeah, yep. Okay, I've got 26, so option 4. Yep. All right. I think with the easy ones, we can maybe just... Um, go through them quite quickly like this and we can look at it because I think you can get it right. The more difficult ones, I think those ones we can maybe do. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, definitely. All right. Number seven. Thoughts. Okay. What's the difference between quantity supplied and quantity demanded if the price is 20? What do you want to do? Um, so you're probably going to have to... Um, Determine the equation. Um, explain your steps. What do you want to do? What are you going to do? If you, if you read this question, what is the difference between the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded when the price is 20? What, what approach or what, what steps would you do to get to the answer? Um... Oh, it's based on the top ones. Okay. Um, okay, so you can probably substitute the price into the, uh, into that function. Um, yeah, yes. Sorry, I didn't see the top part. I oh. couldn't see how are you going to determine. Yes. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I might yeah. not have um, emphasized that. Yeah, six and seven both needed the two equations. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're so saying I'll basically substitute just substitute. And then? Price into B. What are yep. we looking for? We, we're looking for Q. Good. We're looking for the Q yep. here and the Q there. Do you agree? Yes. And then they want the difference, or what must you do? Um, subtract. Good. Okay, well done. Yep. All right, so just to show you that solution, there's the PD, there's the PS. I did, with, I did exactly what you said. Substitute yep. 20 in, solve, and then work out the difference. You get 6. 6. Yep. All right. Perfect. So Great. option three. Okay. okay. Question eight is a standalone question. Um, again, let's practice your approach. Okay. So when you see this question, if you read the question, what are you thinking about? How are you going to approach this question? Okay. So if the demand function of a commodity is that with B and Q or the price and quantity. So uh, it's price uh, point price elasticity. Elasticity. Of yes. demand. Good. Okay. okay. And that requires a formula. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think that's the one that you sent me from the, yeah, yes, B divided, yeah. Correct. From the okay. study guide. Why yes. are we using this one? Linear. It's just simpler. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's a linear, yeah. Okay. Remember, with linear um, point price elasticity, you use that formula. When it's non linear, then you have to do that other uh, calculation. Okay, we saw okay. some of that in the newer past papers. Yes. Okay. All right, so great. You've got it. Okay, once you've got that, you plug in the values. P is 15. P is 15. A, remember, is the constant, which is 215. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Once you've substituted in, you get minus 3 over 4, 40, uh, which is that one, option 4. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 